Hey guys, it's been a minute, but I am back. I'm going to draw this little Papuan, which uh, I never really heard of before, but very cool coloring. Shout out to Forrest Gallant. Um, he's like one of the most esteemed adventurers these days. Uh, an animal expert. Okay, so let me start with this little guy here. So I'm going to use Sketchmaster 2 because that brush is fairly thick and light and allows me to get the shapes pretty easily. So we're going to start with his head. So I'll just make a circle here. And then I'll just do kind of basic forms of his body or her. Move it a little closer. That way I can zoom in a little bit. Okay, now I see these little ears. Very cute. It's a very interesting head shape. So, really big eyes. So I usually make the space where the eyes are going to go here. And then I just do the shape of the nose. So that's pretty good. That looks okay. It might be sticking out a little too far, but I'll fix that with liquify. Okay, that's better. Very interesting face shape. Nose is kind of weird looking, so let's see. Um, let's give him something like this. We'll give him some nice big eyes. I'm gonna make them a little more almondy. Okay. Now I'll just kind of generally uh, kind of work in his arms and legs. So I want to get this branch that he's on. That makes it a little easier. Let's see, they have sort of kind of thin arms, so kind of have legs kind of like a, a loris, a slow loris, but we'll just sort of. We'll just sort of make them kind of cute. Okay, so he's got his little branch. And we have to make that beautiful tail. Okay, so this looks like his tail actually comes out.
and then comes around. Just erase. I'll erase where the branch is on his tail so that way you can tell that his tail is in front of the branch. Okay, so now let's fix up his eyes a little bit. So they, they, I think they need to be a little bit further apart. Maybe a little smaller, a little bit further apart. And I always look back at my, uh, the reference and I just try to see what can be tweaked because there's usually always things that need to be tweaked. And his nose can actually be a little longer. Let's have some fun with his uh, his little nose here. So I want to make him smiling. He's sort of looking down, but I definitely want him to be smiling. So let's so make his nose here. Okay, give him a nice little, a nice little snout. Okay. And now I'll just clean up his eyes. Oops, let me go back to Sketchmaster. Give him his little face paint. Okay, that looks pretty good. Just make his mouth a little bit, oops, a little bit darker, just so it stands out. Not stands out, but just so it is, uh,
clear. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to make a... Sometimes things can get lost. So I'm just going to make it really distinct. Make sure I'm on the right brush. Really distinct line for his chin. And then make that a little bigger just so it matches the other side. What do you want, baby? I'm trying to do a I'm trying to do a tutorial. The cat is trying to trying to crawl on me. And being all cute. And trying to manipulate me to get some treats, I'm sure. Okay, so we got the little nose going on here. And I'll just give a little more space on this side. a little more space and I'll just use liquify to sort of just make this a bit even there we go I like that Okay. All right, so that looks pretty good. So I'll just sort of Just sort of uh, solidify some of these shapes with uh, sketch with Sketchmaster One or just a regular Sketchmaster brush. Gonna have like those like marsupial sort of human like hands. Well, I guess not only marsupials, raccoons have kind of hands like that too, but they're sort of human, human like. Look at those nails though, wow. Got some sharp nails there. Let's see if we can get those in there. Some other hands. Okay. Actually, let's see. What do I see there? Not much. I figure out where I want to make his like little belly or whatever. But I feel like you probably don't even see it. Okay, let's round out the tail. Okay, now we can add a little bit of color, just for fun. And I'll add it to a layer underneath, so I don't mess up my line work if I want to change the colors or things later on. 
Okay, so we have sort of a light brown here. Make this a tad darker just to show the depth. And I'll use a brush with a set opacity. Um, you know what? Let's see if I can do a new layer, and I'll set the layer's opacity. Well, let me use a regular brush. Okay. It's very interesting patterns. Okay, I'm going to make a new layer and merge them, actually, let's see, what's the best way to do this? Select, make a new layer above, so now I'm just going to use the soft brush and I'm going to make certain areas of this darker. Whoops. So let me select. Let's see if this works. Oh, there we go. Get rid of that. And I'm going to select this. And I'm going to make this darker in some places. little fingers in. Okay. And let me just work on his eyes a little bit. Pretty happy with him, but there's like also there's always like little things that bug me. bit bigger a little bit more further out now just use smudge to just sort of clean this up oops let's clean this up a little bit what do the corners of the eyes look like are they just angled Okay, this looks good. I guess he doesn't need that. Okay, it looks pretty good. And I'll just make this a little darker. Just merge all these layers. I'll just make this a little darker here.
and make sure his eyes pop and we'll add a little bit of uh, Oops. We'll just merge them all. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And there you have the little uh, Papuan, which I've never heard of until I saved this photo. Again, shout out to Forrest Gallant. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. This was this was a fun little guy. I've been wanting to draw this for a while. I saved this photo a little while back, and you know, I, I just like I like drawing creatures, even if I've you know that I've just never seen before. Uh, just new shapes. Uh, play around with new patterns and things like that uh, a lot of fun so I appreciate you guys hanging in there and watching me draw Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you want to see more content like that, then follow me on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, all Drug Free Dave. And also, if you want more in-depth, structured tutorials, then definitely check out my Skillshare. I have about 11 Skillshare classes now. And you can use the links below and get two weeks free. And in those two weeks, you can take all of my classes for free. So of course, as always, keep drawing, and I'll see you in the next video.